Thanks for tuning in to the What is Maker Ed cycle. This cycle will introduce you to maker education and help guide you through planning a maker space in your school or classroom. So it's time to fasten your seatbelts, folks. Enjoy the ride as we help you better understand the what of maker education, justify why you would implement maker ed in your classroom, and inspire your how as you begin to use maker ed in meaningful ways to support your learners. Let's begin with what is maker ed. Maker education is a movement that believes in the power of hands-on learning activities to engage, enrich, and inspire students. Maker Ed recognizes the importance of creativity, encourages curiosity, and supports social and emotional growth. Additionally, Maker Ed builds communities of learners in a stimulating environment where sharing is part of learning. And this brings us to our first Myth Buster Challenge. Lee, I'm thinking of the focus on STEM in our school communities and the importance of inspiring students towards STEM careers. It seems like Maker Ed is a natural fit in these content areas. Among many other STEM areas, making blends well with coding, experimenting, design thinking, numeracy, and spatial awareness. So what about those who say Maker Ed is only geared towards science, technology, engineering, and math? Great question, Chris. So, making can be easily geared towards science, technology, engineering, and math content. But, maker education and maker spaces are not just for STEM. In the same way that maker education supports exploration, sharing, play, critical thinking, problem solving, and hands-on learning in a STEM classroom, it can support literacy, writing, ELA, arts, social studies, and history content. Making can help students feel passionate about what they are learning, and that passion can build lifelong learners in any subject area. To learn more about balancing innovation and curriculum and building an engaged community of learners, tune into the TED Talk that we have included by Matt Goldberg of the Blue Man Group and creator of the Blue School. This myth is busted. We know that everything you do in your classroom is designed to stimulate learning. We know that time is at a premium and to add something new, you need to feel that it is going to be a good use of your time, which is why this cycle will give you a powerful why to guide your implementation of maker education. Discover why implementing maker education in your classroom empowers students to try new things, keep trying hard things, and operate with a growth mindset so they can grow and learn. In this cycle, we'll ask you to meet an incredible young maker by watching Kane's Arcade. This is a great opportunity to see what making can mean to a student and how it can find a niche in a learner's heart and mind and inspire them to create knowledge, solutions, community, and frankly, change their world. Lee, I often hear that making does not help cover testing standards. Many think it's just about playing around and making arts and crafts. Hey, learning and teaching is hard work. We don't have to tell you that. There are lots of requirements and plenty of influence from outside the classroom. People have an idea of what a classroom space should look like, and when an administrator walks into your space, they expect to see students learning in traditional ways or learning in innovative ways that provide obvious, incontrovertible proof that learning is happening. Making in your classroom may not immediately seem like an activity that supports curriculum standards, but Maker education can be fully integrated into the curriculum and building academic mastery. Making in the classroom can be a bold response to a curriculum standard. Imagine a student who makes a movie to explain an historical event, and then that video is used in the classroom to teach others about the event. What if your physics students create a roller coaster using the principles they have learned in their courses? Imagine using origami to explore math concepts 
for a stop motion movie to show what they understand about life cycles. Curriculum connections can be seamless for maker education when you empower your students to flex their creative muscles, support choice and voice, and give them the tools they need to create, innovate, iterate, and grow. Maker Ed can help you build an engaged, diverse, empowered community of learners. This myth is busted. There are many different ways to embed maker education meaningfully into your space and your plans. Lee, a lack of funding and the need for more time are often barriers for trying new things in the classroom. Is it true that you need a lot of money, time, and resources to implement maker ed in a school? Sure, you can spend a lot of money, time, and resources to implement a makerspace in your school. Your makerspace can include 3D printers, robotics kits, circuitry kits, laser cutters, and lots of mobile technology. You can spend hours and days and months creating lessons and designing learning experiences using these tools. A makerspace can be very expensive, time consuming, but makerspaces work best when they suit your space and curriculum needs. A plan for learning that is designed entirely around an expensive makerspace is not likely to be successful. A makerspace requires a measured approach that supports the needs of teaching and learning in the classroom. A makerspace can have an exciting start if teachers and students bring recycled materials and build items in response to curriculum standards using these items. A makerspace that encourages students to take broken household items apart and explore their parts and processes can be exciting, inexpensive, and innovative. Paper and scissors can lead to incredible storytelling as students create puppets and scenery for a paper slideshow for which they have written an original script. Maker spaces can be many things and require a variety of resources, but most importantly, they need to be a space that works for you and your students. We encourage you to build your knowledge about starting a makerspace by reading an article from Edutopia about the power of building a small, meaningful makerspace in your classroom. This myth is busted. A classroom, library, or school makerspace can help a teacher make the shift from being the owner of knowledge to being the facilitator as students build knowledge in innovative ways. Teachers are the most important tool students have in their classrooms, and shifting the understanding of the teacher's role can enable more students to benefit from that power. A classroom, library, or school maker space can help students connect to their community. Students are given the understanding that their peers know things that can help them learn. They come to understand that their teacher can be a powerful facilitator as they try to learn something new, even if he or she is not an expert in that subject or tool. They are empowered to look outside their classroom for content experts and teachers are empowered to bring experts in to support learning. A classroom, library, or school maker space can help students connect to content that they may not have natural access to. For example, although women make up almost 50% of the workforce, but they hold less than 30% of the jobs in technology fields. Similar findings are true for science fields. Minority populations like African Americans and Hispanic Americans are underrepresented in STEM fields as well. Maker education may have the power to increase access and interest in skills that lead to STEM jobs, which may increase women in minority representation in these fields. In this cycle, we would like you to tinker with the idea of building your classroom, library, or school makerspace. We've provided you with a template to guide you through the design and implementation of your plan. As you work through your Tinker Challenge, don't forget to use our Making Your Space guide in the Other Resources section of this cycle. And remember, you can use parts of the design or the whole plan. It really needs to work for you. Thank you for joining us to learn more about Maker Ed. You will learn more by visiting other cycles in this playlist, but for now, this journey is complete. It's safe to unfasten your seatbelt and stretch those legs. And that is confirmed.